Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be trying out different iced coffees. One from Starbucks, one from Dunkin' and then of course one that I made at home. I feel like people usually try to make iced coffee at home or they've at least tried it once because I know I have and I just didn't enjoy it as much as like Starbucks and Dunkin'. Until now, recently I found a way that I really enjoy. So I'm going to go ahead and share that with you guys later in the video. But for now, let's go ahead and first go to Starbucks. Starbucks, what you Hi, can I have a tall iced coffee with almond milk and caramel? Tall iced coffee with almond milk and caramel. Anything else? No, that'd be all. Alright, we will see you at the window. Okay, thank you. We got Starbucks, so now let's go to Dunkin'. One pump of caramel and no sugar. Anything else? No, that'd be all. Thank you. Alright, we got Dunkin', so now let's head home. Alright, now that I'm home, I'm gonna quickly show you guys how I make iced coffee at home, and then we'll go ahead and compare all the three iced coffees. I make my iced coffee by the cup and I use the Keurig machine as well as this brand Coffee Bustello to make my coffee. Uh, initially when I first tried making iced coffee I did use the coffee pot but I didn't really like how it came out of the coffee pot. I just felt like it was gross and honestly it would go to waste because it would be a big batch and I just wouldn't even use it. I start off by adding water all the way to the top. And then after that, obviously, I go ahead and add the K-cup into the Keurig. Once it's done brewing, you let it cool down. And once it's cool enough, you go ahead and add it to the fridge. Once it's cool enough, then you're ready to make your iced coffee. I'm going to be using ice, creamer, and a glass cup. I start off by adding the ice. I usually add like two or three ice cubes into my mason jar. Then I go ahead and pour the coffee. Then I go ahead and add my creamer. And I love that part where like, it's like mixing. It's pretty cool. Go ahead and stir and enjoy. All right, so here we are. We have the three iced coffees. The one I made at home, Starbucks and Dunkin'. All right, we're gonna go ahead and start off by trying out the Starbucks one. I've actually never tried Starbucks iced coffee because I usually get cold brew, but um, I don't know, we'll see if it tastes good. Oh, yeah, this is good. Yeah, this tastes really good. I added caramel and almond milk. I thought it was gonna be like strong and like nasty, but this is definitely a 10 out of 10. You know, for nice coffee, it's pretty good. I'm gonna cry because I made a terrible mistake. I used the wrong straw. I used the Dunkin' one on the Starbucks, and now I have to use the Starbucks one on the Dunkin' one. Anyway, Starbucks iced coffee is usually my go-to. So let's, so let's just go ahead and try it out. I added one pump of caramel and one pump of cream and no added sugar. And it wasn't that good today. It was kind of disappointing. Can't really taste any flavor. Yeah, this one doesn't really taste like much. So today it was kind of disappointing. But normally this was my go-to iced coffee place. One, because it's like so cheap. And two, because it's Dunkin', so why not? <laughs> Alright, so now let's go ahead and try the one that I made at home. Cheers. Mm. You know, I'm really proud of myself because I finally found a way to be excited about iced coffee at home. Um, as you guys saw my little routine, it's so simple and it comes out freaking delicious. The cream was so delicious. Like, so, so, so delicious. So, yeah. I d I, lately, I've been drinking iced coffee from home because it's just so good. Like, I look forward to drinking this iced coffee and I literally want to drink, like, more than one cup a day. But if I do that, then I'm going to, like, get super anxious. So, I don't, but... Hmm. It's really good. So yeah, I guess let's rate them all. All right, so first place is Starbucks. Second place is mine. And third place is Dunkin'. Starbucks is number one because it just actually has like really good flavor. I don't know if it's like the caramel or the almond milk or what, but the flavor is so good. I really like mine because, well, one, obviously it's inexpensive compared to the other ones. 
two, I love the creamer. It's so delicious. And the coffee flavor is really good. And then Dunkin' is stirred because, well, you know, Dunkin' is never really promising. I feel like Dunkin' never, like, the drinks never taste the same every single time. And that kind of sucks. So now I gotta pick which one I'm gonna keep drinking today because if I drink all of them, I'm gonna probably die. Alright guys, so that's all I have for this video. Mm. And I also think this is gonna be my last little coffee series thing. Just because I'm gonna try to stick with making iced coffee at home. As I mentioned, it's so much cheaper to make your own iced coffee at home. So I'm gonna go ahead and perfect my iced coffee and just keep doing that. So thanks for watching all my little Starbucks ones. I really enjoyed making them as I mentioned before. But yeah, hooray to the last one. Of course I had to end with iced coffee, right? It's freaking delicious. Like everyone likes iced coffee. It's like the only way, right? But anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. If you guys haven't subscribed, Please subscribe down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.